Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the latest patched version of the worst hacked client for Minecraft 1.21. We're going to go ahead and go to the worst mod website first. I'm going to provide the link in the description and we're going to scroll down until we see these two boxes here, the worst client and the worst fabric API. So what we're going to go ahead and do is click both of these buttons and download these files. It'll save us a location or give us a little location to save the files. Hit desktop and then hit save for both the Fabric API and the client itself. These are the two main files that actually give you the client. The next thing we're going to need is this Fabric installer, so go ahead and head to fabricmc.net. I'll leave the link in the description as well. And we can go ahead and hit download for Windows. And we can save this file to the desktop as well. Now you can go ahead and cross these links off because we don't need them anymore. Go ahead and hit close. And if you have the game running, either in a full running state or just the launcher open, you're going to want to close that as well. We should have three files now. These three files are going to look something like this. If they do not look like little coffee icons, you're going to have to right click and then hit open with and then select Java. That should fix any problems going there. We're going to go ahead and double click the fabric installer real quick. And that should give us a window that looks like so. Set the version to 1.21 for this particular tutorial. If there's later versions come out, you're going to have to click this little arrow and scroll down. Go ahead and hit install. That should be very fast. And then it should say fabric loader 1.20.1 has successfully been installed. Just hit OK. We can go ahead and cross this off now. The next thing we're going to want to do is hit the Windows key and the letter R. So this is going to open up this little tab here. And I've already typed this in, but what you're going to want to type in is percentage app data percentage. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Now this is going to open up the location of the .minecraft folder. We can go ahead and double click the .minecraft folder and look for a folder named mods. There is a chance that you will not have this particular folder. And that is if you've never used mods before and this is like your first time. If there's no mods folder, you're just going to full screen this thing, click somewhere off to the side, and then click new. Uh, so you're going to right click the screen and then click new and then click folder. And we're going to, it's going <laughs> to come up down the bottom here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit rename and name it mods. M-O-D-S. Then hit enter. And enter again if you've already got the folder. And now we can go to that folder. I'm going to open up the mods folder. Now if there is anything in here you are going to want to take it out and store it somewhere else, preferably on your desktop. And we're going to go ahead and drag the worst client and fabric API into here. And that's everything you need to know. This is pretty much the entire tutorial. Now you can go ahead and double click the Minecraft launcher itself and that will load up the game. Next we should be able to click this little drop down arrow here. And we should be able to look for an installation called Fabric Loader 1.21. We're going to select that. If this does not exist for some reason, it, normally it will show up as the first installation on here. But for some reason if it doesn't come up, Go ahead and hit the Installations button up the top here. I'm going to come down to New Installation. And we can just name it whatever we want. This is the worst client, and we can change the icon if we want. But we can go to the version. This is the important bit. We click the version, and we're going to look for Fabric. We're going to type the word Fabric in, and we're going to look for the specific version. So it's going to be 1.21 in this case for this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and hit Create after that. Then we're going to go to Play. And it should show up as a new installation as 1.21 Fabric Loader. Then we can go ahead and hit play and hit play again. It will give you a little warning because it is a modern version of Minecraft. It may take a little while to load depending on how good your PC is, but the way we know that it worked is it's going to say Fabric Minecraft or Minecraft 1.21 forward slash Fabric modded. Now we can just go ahead and test the client out to make sure it works. We know that it, it's already been loaded because it says Alt Manager down here, which isn't normally a button you get. Go ahead and hit Single Player. You can go ahead and open up any world. And we should get the little worst sausage logo with the Options button when we load in. Go ahead and hit Back to Game. And if I just go ahead and hit the Right Control button, this will open up all of the little hacks. You can just left click on them, which is the normal click that you would use to break blocks in Minecraft. And you hold that click button down to drag these modules around. These little green arrows drop the hacks down, so you can shuffle these about your monitor as to which ones you want to use. There are multiple different tabs. There's blocks, there's movement, there's render, and there's combat. And there's also UI settings. If, you, if there's a sausage logo up in the top left-hand corner and you don't want it there, 
you can go ahead and hit this drop down arrow for the worst logo under UI settings. And for some reason, the only options are to always show the sausage logo or to only show the sausage logo when it's outdated. Most importantly, if you want to see all the different options and the buttons that you need to press to get to things quickly, click on the escape button and then click worst options. And right here, there's going to be an option called keybinds under managers in the center here. If we click on keybinds, this will show us the shortcut keys to all of the major hacks. I can demonstrate some of these very quickly. For example, if we go back into the game and we hit X, for example, that is going to give us X-Ray, which is going to show us every valuable block in the game that would be difficult to obtain. Everything else is just going to become invisible. This is for finding ores underground. Uh, we can also press C. The C button is Fulbright. This is just so we don't have to deal with darkness anymore. That's gone. If we're feeling in a particularly destructive mood or have built something and want to remove it uh, really, really fast, we can press N. Uh, and N will speed nuker everything. It will break everything ridiculously fast. I kid you not, this thing can drill straight to bedrock in like a few seconds in creative mode. In survival, it is less powerful, but it will still break just about everything around you, but just more slowly depending on what tools you have. You can also just fly through structures and they'll be absolutely disintegrated. I'm not worried about this because I have a backup of this uh, particular world. Definitely don't use this on, on a public server where someone spent ages building something unless, unless you just, I don't know, just don't do it. It's not very nice. There's also one last thing, which is the right shift button which will open up the search module. You do have to know the name of the, the hack to use this, really. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and have an excellent day. Goodbye.